My lab uh, mainly investigates uh, the neuroscience of decision making these days. So uh, we're using human neuroimaging techniques um, to observe the brain in action while people make decisions. And um, yeah, we use different techniques to do that and also investigate different kinds of decisions. Yeah? So it could be simple things like, you know, um, what do you perceive? Uh, is it, if we look at a picture, um, what's the what are the mechanisms behind that? Um, we also look at decisions that are based on values, yeah, like economic choices. Uh, and quite an interest uh, we also have in social decision making. So basically what happens, um, what are the mechanisms when you make decisions that affect other people or how does information other people have affect your own decisions. You can certainly see the impact of uh, stress on decision making. That's actually a very um, hot topic right now. Yeah, because it's also important, right? Many uh, decisions are made under stress. So just you know, look at the stock exchange, look at you know, uh, other decisions you may make in your daily life. Um, and yeah, we can of course see that and it uh, certainly dramatically affects the way people make decisions. What we can basically see is that somebody who is um, uh, older but still cognitively very fit um, has a brain that pretty much looks like a young brain. Yeah, so, and what that basically leads to, this, this insight, is if you try and preserve your brain, yeah, so yeah, by living healthy, by exercising, uh, that's certainly the best thing that you can do um, to also maybe you know, be less affected by um, age-related changes. I'm, I'm an MD by training, so also part of the motivation is to actually you know, create new knowledge that in the end also helps patients. Yeah? And that's a promise um, that we as a field you know, have to, have to uh, deliver.